You know, once we do know Christ as Savior and Lord, we usually become a lot more sensitive to Scripture, what it's saying to us. And in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Do you know, I find often I take the abundant life that I truly have in Christ, I take it for granted. I almost start to forget the unbelievable things Christ has done in my life, experiencing His forgiveness, His, His strength to do things through the Holy Spirit that I never had before I came to Christ. And I have to have a daily reminder of the abundance that I have in Christ because what it does, it motivates me just to want to share Him with others. I was at a major university here in my country and I was walking across the campus and here came the student. He had all these Olympic gold and silver and bronze medals on his uh, university jacket. It was almost like he was walking like this. They looked so heavy. And so I like to meet people. And so I walked up to him and I just said, uh, can I ask you a question? He said, well, yes. I said, um, why do you wear those medals? And it was interesting. There were some other people standing around. He looked at me and he said, in growing up, I always wanted to be different. And I never was. But he said, these medals make me different. And I thought, you know, that's right. Everybody on campus couldn't miss him with all those medals uh, hooked onto his jacket. So then I asked him this question. I said, do they satisfy? And his face kind of dropped. And he said, no. I said, why? Listen what he said. I can't stand the loneliness that goes with being different. Whoa. That's when I realized that I need to be every day conscious of Christ's blessings in my life. There's a song that says, count your many blessings. You know, I think it's good for you and me to do that. Often I would take a sheet of paper and I'll just think over the last year, what are areas that God has blessed me? What is areas that He's encouraged me in and all? And I'll make a list of them. And then I'll walk down through that list and just thank Christ for what He's done in my life. And one reason I want to do that, the more I see that, usually it makes me more faithful in reading the Scriptures, in praying, and sharing my faith with others. I challenge you, maybe you've only known Christ a few days, or maybe a few years. I challenge you to take a sheet of paper and just write down over the last year, what are some of the blessings Christ has brought about around your life or in your life? And then just write across it, thank you. And then realize that God wants to bless others like that through you.